All right, so how does a catalytic converter work? Well, one thing you need to realize is internal combustion engines are not perfect. The air fuel mixture that enters the engine usually isn't burned 100%. That's why catalytic converters exist. Now, engines are getting more and more efficient every year, but catalytic converters are still there and they're there for a reason. Now, this is the catalytic converter off of a Toyota. Um, that's another universal catalytic converter, just to give you an idea of what they look like. Um, but what needs to happen is the exhaust gas coming out of the engine needs to flow through this pipe and flow through the catalytic converter. So what the catalytic converter must do is it must convert the hydrocarbons and the carbon monoxide in the exhaust into CO2 and H2O. And it does this by getting hot enough internally that it auto ignites any any unburnt fuel that passes through. What I have here is the inside of a catalytic converter. That's the material that you see in there. So as the exhaust gas passes through the catalytic converter, these plates here, they will glow red hot, hot enough to ignite any leftover fuel that's inside the exhaust. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. Here I have a map gas torch. This, I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit, you know, simulate exhaust passing through. Now you see, I've extinguished the flame. However, it's still glowing red hot. That's because the fuel is passing through and it's burning inside the catalytic converter. You see no flame, no flame at all, but it will continue to glow forever as long as there's air and fuel passing through there because it's hot enough to ignite it. fundamental operation of a catalytic converter. And that'll stay red hot for a while, all the way through the core. And even now, even after it's been cooling for a while, it'll, it'll burn it and heat right back up. And still, no flame. So, I hope that answered any questions you may have had. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below.